$4,000 Mustang, $5,000 Subaru, whatever. $40,000 Honda. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Red seat belt. Where's my steering wheel move my wheel uh, steering? Look at awkward, but uh, it's it is. way down there. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna have it up some. Alrighty. Can I may we take that off? Sure. Just so I can see. This is my fancy mount. Yeah. I'm gonna put it here, or you? you yeah, that's fine. You can put it there. Are you gonna be rolling while I'm rolling? Uh, I'll roll whenever you don't mind me rolling. How about that? Uh, you tell me when it's okay to roll. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I just want. I really, I, what I want is your, your like feelings of the how sporty the car is, if if, if you will. If you can call let's it. Let's see. Go one, two, three, four, five. I'm not as entertaining as you think I am when I'm driving the car because I'm learning it and then trying to talk about it at the same time which is an incredible skill. I won't roll until you learn the car. How about that? Uh, all right, that's good. Um, clutch grabs right at the top. Now what I'm wondering about is that like I'm 36. Mm -hmm. I think to people who are in who are in high school, this may be their viper. Because when I was yes. in high school in the late 90s, you didn't see when you saw a viper that you remembered that day. That's true. This is this long-awaited savior in a way that the Focus RS isn't, and I don't know why that is. I mean, there's a reason because. All throughout the 90s, the Type R's have been, you know, it's kind of like forbidden fruit. Exactly. And the Integra Type R came and nobody bought it. You know, they sold like 3,000 of those. Mm -hmm. So they're impossible to find. So, you know, me growing up, you know, I'm 30 now. So as I grew up, I was like, wow, forbidden fruit, Type R. Mm -hmm. And it's kind of the same thing for younger generations, too. Type R's always been that kind of thing. Like, why does Europe get all the cool Type R's and cars? And okay, we, what we is the sport mode? Are we in it? We're in sport mode. And that's, that's our mode. That's our mode. So what's the difference between R and sport? So uh, every time you hit the button, three things change. The throttle response, the weight of the steering wheel, and uh, the suspension uh, tuning. Okay. So it has active dampers. So comfort is for highway cruising. Sport is what it defaults to. Now I'm just driving it normally uh, six gear 60 miles an hour 2800 rpm I remember this has an apple well I took the mufflers off right so it still has resonators yep all right when it's in comfort it feels like a civic with the exception exactly. of the seats exactly like a if, this, if this had a if this had some lumbar, it would be really nice. Perfect, right? I know. I agree. Oh, look! You go to red alert. <laughs> the theme of the dash <laughs> changes, and then R. The uh, tack changes to f the whole thing is a red oh, line. Red, yeah. That helps. <laughs> it's quite the party trick. Yeah. I only use plus R mode on the track. Otherwise, it's too stiff. And to be quite honest with you, sport mode, I only use it on the back roads, like if it's yeah. fun. But if I'm on the highway, it's always comfort mode. Okay. Otherwise, the throttle response is too much. And the thing that gets me is I can't, I can't have exactly the car that I want. I want the steering in sport mode. I want the throttle response in comfort mode, and I want the shocks in comfort mode. Because mm -hmm. that thing does the best performance, to be honest with you, because it, it absorbs all, all the different undulations and bumps and shocks and you know, things like that. Wow, okay. The auto rev match is off. I can turn it on for you if you park it. Oh, you gotta park it. Yeah. Well, we'll leave it off. I put it in R mode. I want to feel. I want to know what it is. Oh, this is heavy steering. It's 
it's a wet road. Uh, yep, there it's spun. It's you're spun in spin, first. You're gonna spin all the tires in, in even third. I'm gonna be quiet for a little bit because this is a tighter road. So Mr. Regular is enjoying the tight bar <laughs> in a tight road where it belongs. We're in plus R mode. Yeah, spun the tires again. Unfortunately, the, the roads are all wet yeah. and we're on all seasons. Which, by the way, if I would have kept the stock tires, it would be even worse. Because it's, it's 40 degrees. It was sleeting before. Yeah. So, not great for traction. <sighs> the sensation of this plus R mode is similar to the RS. RS in its highest suspension setting is less comfortable than the Honda Type R in plus R mode. Yeah, Although I've driven, I am, I'm I've sorry. driven the RS before and it was, it was really good, but it just it would, you could never get really comfortable in it. This has the comfort mode, which is really important to have in a daily car. It's a nice road, by the way. Thank you. So this, if I if I just went fast, there's your there's a brake squeal. Oh, th now that we're stopped, can can we do it fast enough? You can turn on the uh, thing, or do you got to go through a menu? It's the menu. All right, well we don't have time for that. <laughs> Man, all the 300 horsepower just going to the front wheels. It doesn't know what to do with it. Especially in the way. It doesn't yeah. have limited to the differential. Yeah. And it has a really smart computer about it, but it's still front wheel drive. Yeah, it's just too much. <laughs> I mean, when it starts spooling, it's, it, it doesn't know what to do. It's, it's too much. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's too much in a fun way, but let me get it out of R, put it back into sport. I mean, it'll probably still spin it. Oh, yeah. It'll spin in comfort mode. <sighs> This, this this car would be a tough sell to the wife. <laughs> because I, I make this argument that the Focus ST is the car you can get if you have to make concessions, but you still want a fun car, but you need a family car. That's fine. I agree. And that's 250 horsepower, right? Oh, yeah. Um, and then there's the Volkswagen GTI, which might be an even easier sell. I don't know which is faster though. 200, it's like 225 versus they're, 250. They're very close, but I, I think the Focus is the is, has, has a little bit more power deliver, better power power delivery than uh, than the uh, GTI. Yeah. Well, you can tune those GTI. <sighs> yeah, <laughs> VTEC meets turbo, man. Third gear is a sweet spot for this. We got it in third. Shit, man. <laughs> It, 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 it's trying to it's trying to fight the torque steer, but it still pulls it. Yeah, the wheels are not helpful either. They're supposed to be plus 50 millimeter offset at plus Shit. 45, so it's a little different. But it's a front wheel drive car. It's gonna have torque steer. <sighs> Christ! <laughs> and you hear it, it, it. Yeah, it is more energy. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Honda. Civic Type R is more entertaining than an, than an RS on than than an RS on back roads. I'm guessing the turbo is small. Well, it is a smaller engine. Uh, the RS is, I think, is a two three. It's this a two is three. a two. Yep. I feel like I am going faster, but am I going faster? I think on this stuff, all things being equal, you get 350 horsepower going to four wheels. In the RS versus 300 and what? 306. Yeah, well, that's of course that's crank on both of them. Right. So the thing is, this you can put on any other dyno and find out what's what. They put on dyno already. I've seen a lot of dynos that are on 293 to the wheel. They're saying 293 to the wheel. Yeah, 290, 290, 295. Oh, it's great. I don't know where this clunk is you're talking about or the grind. You probably won't get it because it's cold today. Ah. It happens more and more when it's really hot out. 
Well, the lack of a real emergency brake stops the hooning. <laughs> so people are going to have to be make do with just doing this all the time. <laughs> that was first gear. Christ, man, it's just it's too much. It doesn't know what to do. Wrap. <laughs> Good sticky rubber on a warm day. This car is amazing in terms of traction and the way it goes. It's just like a rocket. All season tires on a cold, wet day, mm -hmm. and it's a front-wheel drive car. <laughs> yeah, that's when you. That's when you really do need four-wheel drive to kind of put the power down. Now the thing about it, so I've actually battled uh, RSs on the track before. I have a couple of videos online, uh -huh. and they're pretty well matched up, except that the RS kept having issues with its rear transfer case. So it kept overheating, it kept overdoing it, so he kept power sliding, which is fun, but slow. And then eventually, after like four or five laps at Pocono, he overheated uh, the back transfer case and it became a front wheel drive car. Can you get an electronic turbo gauge in here? Can I see the boost? Yes. Sorry. Uh, Gimme. I should have asked that before. Ah, okay. Is it factoring in atmospheric pressure? Who knows? <laughs> uh, who knows? If you nail it in comfort... It's the same thing. It's the same thing? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't cut... Does it cut power or cut no. timing for any of them? No, it's just oh. different, different throttle maps. Ooh, yeah. okay. So it is different throttle maps and different uh, suspension settings. Huh. And the steering wheel gets nice That's... and light. Fascinating. So what do you think? Okay, so this thing has two competitors. The RS the and the Volkswagen R. GT and the oh Golf, Golf R. R. I haven't driven the Golf R. Mm. I drove the the GTI. I test drove a lot of cars before buying this one. Mm. The, the RS, the GTI, the Focus ST, I mean a whole ton of cars. The uh. Mustang. And this one for me just fit me so well. Uh, head checking is hard. The visibility out the back is slightly better than what I thought. Um, I guess the visibility would... These seats are nicer than an RS. You know, I'm kind of loyal to Ford, so I kind of think <laughs> of the RS. I like the RS a lot. Um, Nice. This this is nice. These seats are nicer. Getting in and out would take some getting used to. Yeah, you have to like come lumbar at lumbar is something that on a road trip I just need a little bit of that. Then it'd be good. Um, I like that there's a we didn't even get to like the screen or thing, but I like that climate is a physical button. Yep. It's and cold and I want heat. Get me to that right. Oh, right you do this. That's it. Ah. That's it. One heat, boom. There you go. Uh, and then the best thing about this is that you connect your Android or iPhone to it, mm -hmm. and then it's Android Auto or Apple, I, um, whatever it is. Mm. You don't have to deal with freaking. I don't know anything about infotainment. Uh, I've never had a car with it. Um, we didn't get to all this or that or that or your phone. None of that is important. None of that is important. No. In this car. It's how it drives. All right. Man. Did you see this on the track? Yeah. You see this on the track? I have videos on my channel if you want to take a look, but this thing is a beast. Would I track. want this or would I want an RS? That is a darn good question. That's tough. If you're going to be daily driving it, well, the thing is, the, with the RS, it's just so, the, the ride is so rough. Yeah, it is. You don't have a comfort mode. No. Uh, but in this comfort mode, this comfort mode is amazing. Like, uh -huh basically like a Civic, like you said, a regular Civic hatchback. Mm -hmm. um, but you lose your four-wheel drive and you live in snow belt like I do, so it's kind of a trade-off. With snow tires, it should be okay to daily drive, mm -hmm. but you know, you could have a separate daily driver. Yeah. For track day driving, 
I feel like the Type R is a little bit more composed, at least from the, from the RSs that I've seen. Yeah. So the RSs that I've seen on the track, they're very heavy and they're all over the place. Mm -hmm. So, you know, they do four wheel, four wheel drifts all the time. They're, they're kind of all over the place. With this car, the turn in, that's what I wanted to say. The turn in in this car is mm -hmm. incredible. With the right sticky tires, yeah. on the right, you know, weather, the turn in, you, you turn it in, and plus, especially on plus R mode, yeah. and you feel connected to the car. The RS is very good when I test drove it, but it wasn't as it wasn't as sharp, as precise in that turn in as it, as this car. I'm not a track guy. I know, I know. Because I don't know what this, what that what that's all about. I'm gonna stop rolling on this. Thank you very much, Ellis. Thank you so for, much for uh, letting me drive the of Type course. R. And Merry Christmas, everybody. <laughs>